Hello techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with run application action. Let's go to the action panel and search for run application. Or you can directly go to the system actions and there you will find run application. Let's drag and drop this action onto the workspace. What is the purpose of run application action? Run application action executes an application or open a document by executing the associate application. Now, if you see over here, executes an application. What is meant by that? If you have already installed an application, then if you want to execute that application, in that case, you are going to use run application over here. In my windows, I have already installed Contaso invoicing application. Let me go to search and I'm going to search for Contaso. And there you can see, I'm going to open this Contaso invoicing application. There you can see, I have executed this Contaso invoicing application. How can I go ahead and open this or execute this application? There you can see the parameters. The first parameter is the application path. What is the application path? I have to give the exe application path. Let me go back to the windows and then I'm going to search for Contaso invoicing. And there you can see, I'm going to open file location. There you can see I'm having legacy invoicing app. So it has been renamed as Contaso invoicing. I'm going to copy the full path over here by selecting shift and then I'm going to click on copy as path over here to get the full path of this exe. There you can see I'm having application over here in a such way that is exe file. All right, let me close this. Whatever I have copied from the path, copy as path, I'm going to paste it over here, application path. And the remaining parameters, if you see, command line arguments, working folder, we'll discuss about this a little bit later. Now, if you come over here, window style, what is the window style? There you can see, I'm having four types of things. One is normal, hidden, maximize, and minimize. Maximize in a sense, if I want to open the entire window, it has to be occupied, and then I'm going to open it as maximize. In a such a way, you can see over here, I'm having this is the maximize, minimize, and the hidden. And the normal is the normal one, which I have to open in the normal way, all right? As of now, I'm going to select normal. After application launch property, there you can see, I'm having three again. One is continue immediately, wait for application load, wait for application to complete. In such a way, if I want to wait for till the application loads, then in that case, I'm going to use wait for application. Now, wait for application to complete, it has complete the entire scenario and then it has to go for the other action. In that case, I'm going to use wait for application to complete. Or else it has to execute immediately. In that case, I'm going to use continue immediately. All right. Now, if you see over here, there is a variable produce that is app process ID. App process ID will come as an output from where this app process ID will come. Let me click on the taskbar and then I'm going for the task manager. In my task manager, I'm going for the details over here. If you see over here, all my PIDs are coming for each and every application. In a such a way, if you see command prompt exe, that is 3800 and multiple things are there, right? For that one, it is coming 964. These are all the process IDs, which it will be stored in the app process ID. In a such a way, if this application is executes, that is with the name of legacy invoicing app dot exe executes, there will be one process ID will be comes out here in this task manager. That ID will be stored over here in the app process ID. All right. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see it is trying to execute or open to the application that is Contaso invoicing by using run application, right? Now, if you see it has been started executing and then it is trying to open the Contaso invoicing. All right. Now let me minimize this for the time being. And there you can see the output that is variables produced that is app process ID that has been stored as 12920. Let me show you that by going to the task manager again and the inside my task manager, there's the details, right? Now, if you see over here, legacy invoice app, the ID is 12920. 
all right the same process id has been stored inside my flow variable that is app process id all right this is one part to execute the application now i will show you the second part now let me double click on the run application if you see over here run application executes an application or open a document by executing the associated application let me give you an example over here now i want to open a document like winword let me go to the folders now if you see in my pl500 i am having some documents for an example i have to open this document that is with the name of about the course all right how can i go ahead and open this document with the name of about the course let me go back to the power automate desktop now i'm going to give the entire path over here in the application let me go directly and then i'm going to copy the path by selecting shift and then i'm going to right click from the mouse and then i'm going to copy as path i'm going to give the same path over here that is d colon pl500 about the course dot docx all right let me click on save now let's run the flow by clicking on run flow execution started now if you see it is trying to open the microsoft word and then it is trying to open the document with the name of about the course dot docx there you can see the document has opened successfully let me close this now if you see on the right hand side there is a process id what is the process id that is 1416 to open this document by using run application all right this is the one way of opening the document let me show you another way let me double click on the run application there you can see i have to give the application path for an example to open the same about the course.docx what is the shortcuts that we have what are the application paths that we have that i'm having command as winword that we are going to type it from the search right i'm going to run command over here in my run and then i'm going to give winword correct and then if you see over here it is trying to open a new document correct in a such a way if i'm going to give the application path as winword right in that case it will open a new document by using run application now you may got some doubt what kind of shortcuts that i can give it over here if you see previously to open the contesto invoice application i have given the full path over here but over here when i am going to give application path for the winword that i am going to give simply winword so such a kind of things how can we go ahead and do that for an example if you are going for the run command if i am going to give notepad there you can see it is trying to open the notepad such a kind of commands you can give in the application path in a simple way one is winword notepad command prompt cmd users and groups l user mgr dot msc such a kind of commands you can give in the application path all right now i have given the application path over here as winword now i have to give the command line argument all right now to open the document which is already there i'm going to paste it over here that is d colon pl500 slash about the course dot docx this is a command prompt right let me go for the command prompt again over here or the run command and then if i'm going to give the doc give the command over here such as command line arguments which i have given in that case it will open the document correct you can see over here it is trying to open the document over here now let me show you that by clicking on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now if you see it is trying to open the document which we have given in the command line arguments yes it has been opened the document successfully let me close this and the output that is app process id has been stored in the flow variable all right now if you see over here in the run application action the command line arguments what are the things are there to add the extra arguments that will go after the executing the file name for an example you are going to enter notepad.dxe in the application path right and then the specific text file in the command line arguments there i have given it as a path but if you see over here the command line arguments there are many the command line arguments such as slash q slash u slash x and many more are there 
in such kind of command lines you can give it over here in the command line argument now coming to the third parameter that is working folder now if you see over here i have given it as a path over here such as d colon pl500 about the course dot docx is the file correct now i don't want to give all these things i'm going to work with a common folder what is the folder over here i'm going to select a folder from here that is from the folder select folder and then i'm going to d colon on my pl500 i'm going to select that folder and then i'm going to click on ok now if you see over here the working folder is d colon pl500 so now if you see the entire run application i have given the application path that is exe file which is a win word and then i'm going to give command lines arguments only the document name and the working folder i have given it as d colon pl500 and the window style i have given it as normal let me make it as maximized and then after application launch what is this application launch? i want to execute immediately now if you see i'm going to open i'm going to use wait for application to load it is going to give timeout i'm going to give it as 10 and then you can see over here app process id will be stored inside the variables produced and the windows handle also it will be stored as an output all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output once again flow execution started now if you see it is trying to open the document by using run application which is in the working folder that is d colon pl500 and what is the document name which we have given in the arguments that is about the course dot docx all right and the action has wait till the document has loaded that is we have given the document as 10 seconds all right now if you see the app process id it has been stored as a flow variable that is double one zero eight four there in the task manager we can see it as double one zero eight four over there there you can see i can see winword.exe with the process id double one zero eight four and it is in running state all right I hope you understand how to work with run application action by executing an application or to open a document by executing the associated applications as part of this tutorial. And also we have seen the different examples to work and to understand about run application.